the first thing you're going to want to do with a um, Solid Edge 3D publishing uh, document is to create your own template. We can um, do one of two options. You can either just create from new and start everything from scratch, or you could look at uh, new from template. And with the program, you get a number of different template styles. So you can um, choose one that is going to um, work for how you want to lay out or something that is similar. Um, as you can see, you can scroll through and um, have something that is, is roughly in the area that you're after. I'm just going to go um, and create a new document with no template. Start with um, choosing the page size. I want to um, portrait A4. So once we open it up, we can then pop over to the layout menu, go into master page, and you can set things up in here how you want to. So I'm going to start with a um, colored um, header and footer. So if I just go in and actually I'll go into shapes, create a rectangle, and just drag that out here. Uh, we've got control in the properties tab. So this is the um, thing that shows you all the different um, sections on your um, document. So I can come in here and just create something that's just uh, lightly shaded. And uh, within the properties, we've got sizes and whatever that we can set up by default. So if I click on that again, Control C, Control V, and I'll use the same thing as my sort of footer area. Like so, and one other thing I may want to apply is just a um, page uh, page number. So tick tick the enable display text, and if you click in here, you can see the different options. So I'm going just going to have page one of two, for example. And that just sits in there. So when you've finished, you can either turn off the edit page or accept it. And that's now going to be my um, default style for this document. We now have our master template set up. So let's start looking at the um, setting up the template as a sort of complete document ready to use in the future. So I can start by um, looking at properties on the page. This first one is going to be the header page. So let's just rename that. And if I want to see the page names, I can right mouse click on there. So we'll start with a company logo. <clears throat> so notice we're already in the edit page mode. And if I go to insert, I can go to image as a drop down and pull in any number of sort of standard images. Alternatively, I can just click and add an area for an image and it will come up with a um, option to select the file that we're after. And that can be resized to get the feel for what you're after. I'll also create a text box and place that on here. Again, I can just um, fence an area. This one needs to be quite large, so we'll create something sort of large here. We can set it to center just like you can in um, Word or whatever. And we'll call this a technical specification. Let's just resize that just a fraction. And then finally, I want to put some document history on here. So I'm going to use the table command. Don't want it 
uh, it's bigger set, so we'll go to 18. And once again, we define an area that we want to work with. And I want two columns, four rows. And let's just move that down towards the bottom. So we're going to have a little number. Text height isn't what I was after, so we'll just select all of these and change that to uh, say 20. And I can just like in Excel resize this so. Lot number revision and date. So that defines um, information that is going to go on this front page. Once we've finished, we can um, come back to the home page and turn off the edit. Now we've created the um, cover page. We're going to add a new page, and on this one, I want to do a um, assembly overview. So I'll just go into the properties and just name this. And I'll have a 3D view. So if I go to import model, and I shall choose an assembly to put in. Uh, we've got options here on what we can import. And that then just takes a little bit of time to um, process all the information and bring that into the 3D publishing software itself. Um, so that's all used for um, parts list, which we'll do in a minute. And also, um, yeah, the view, view displays as well as um, any other links that we want to um, attach to the uh, document. So as you can see, it's just preparing that and when it's finished it will update the display in here so for now that that's um, complete um, we can do any rotation on whatever whenever we are out of the edit page mode um, but before we move on i want to go to the um, uh, options here and put in a parts table and like we've done before, we just drag an area and that fills um, this in. So this refers to this, this item up here. So we go OK and that builds up the parts list. Um, you'll notice that the default is to use the um, part name. So if we go across to our model tab, we can edit that parts list. Add a new column in and um, we've got a sort of raft of um, different fields that we could use um, we could go with subject or um, say project name is another one The project name is the one that we have used um, for filling out this information. So let's um, just go in and delete this column and delete this column. And I would also like to um, move that column to the left so that that's central. Uh, when you've got your um, list sorted, um, we can come back into our main list 
um, if I go to my properties tab double click to edit on here um, you'll see that we don't have a header bar so I can turn that on and give that a slightly different uh, header just to sort of make it stand out uh, we've got the ability to have a scroll bar in here as well if we need to if your list is quite large so um, double clicking closes that out um, I can use my um, middle mouse to scroll, left mouse to rotate and um, we also have our 3D view or um, we can go to this one here sorry um, so we can choose which whichever view that we want to um, associate there's also a um, zoom to fit so that sort of just um, stretches it out to the maximum size so um, once we've finished um, we can move on to the next page so for the next page we will have um, itemized uh, component views So we'll save that one and for this we need to do um, individual boxes I'm just going to cancel for the moment um, because we'll have more than one page and um, this is just a template so um, I can use control C and control V and place these in And then you just need to position so if we use the shift key to select multiple we have the options to align so we'll align those vertically top and then um, I'm going to add a few more in just um, to position. I'm not worried too much about where they go for the moment because um, I'm going to align them. So again. So we can go through and make sure you deselect before you update. So then we can distribute um, so horizontal even spaces them out and that sets up the um, page so um, the reason I haven't uh, added in the um, model at this stage is that this is just the template um, I'm just adding in the layout of the view that we want. We could have had 16 on a page or four on a page. It sort of depends on sort of how detailed you want it to look. Um, when we use this later, um, we can just um, 
attach the model and we can choose per part to lay this out and it will add in the extra pages as needed. For the next page I want to put some warnings um, page on so if I click on the header page I'm going to put it right near the beginning so um, if I go to insert I can go to text box just put a header in so we'll make this quite large And we'll just underline this. Then um, I happen to have a document that already has the information I'm after. So I've placed a text box and import from the document. And so if we go to Um, the document they're after that will just import that information and just for uh, a bit more clarity I shall put in a uh, warning sign um, just to um, highlight that information so that's the um, final page that we're going to do on this template so just finally before we save it let's um, just rename this page and just for um, completeness we'll save the document first and then under here we can go save as a Siemens template so this will just put it into our default um, folder. Um, I've just called this tech spec and um, quarter space T for template is what it's going to get saved as. So that goes through and saves the document. So now we've looked at creating the template. The next step is obviously to use it. So if we go and create a new from template. Now by default it doesn't actually save that template in the um, standard list. So if we go to custom we can go to import and that template that we've saved we can now import and that brings that into here. So we can click on this now and scroll through the pages that we have available and for this we'll just start with um, using this page only and we need to choose the um, assembly we want to use for this document so we go open and finish and it just goes through the um, process of publishing that um, into the solid edge 3d publishing so um, we can um, use that as needed um, you can actually save these out beforehand um, and then and then obviously it's quicker to um, access that information so we have our first page and then we need to build the document up. So now we just need to go in and um, finish off the other pages so we can use our page templates. Um, so if you build your template that has more pages than you actually need or um, you have a template that covers a lot of different scenarios, you can just choose the extra pages that you want. So this is why we've done it this way. Um, we can add in the um, warnings page. We just want to do a quick insert and add that one in. Um, we don't need to make any changes to that so we can then go to the next stage and pull in our assembly and customize this page 
So this allows us to choose either the model that we've already chosen or um, something different. So that creates the third page. And then for the fourth page, remember we didn't set it up. So here we want to look at insert a view for each part. And it, when you go next, and you've got a few different options here. Uh, show one part per row and finish. So you can see that that has created the um, options, but we have um, the first and the second page. So on the second page, there's only a couple of parts. So you'll see the rest of it is all um, uh, just superfluous. So if we double click on that, we can go through and just using the shift click, delete those extra images that we don't want. Double click again to turn that off. And um, you'll see that we have the uh, two pages as required. Um, if you want to, you can sort of click on a view, go into here and sort of reset it to where you want it to be. Um, and uh, obviously that, that will affect each individual view um, depending on sort of what best configuration is for um, that component. So you can choose the views. And then when you're finished, um, you just save your document and print it. So this concludes this um, session, which shows how to set up a template and then use that template to build your standard component um, specification sheets.